Hi, welcome to another aircraft review by Jet Aviva. My name is Mike Hogan. Today we're going to be talking about the King Air 200 series aircraft, more specifically the King Air 250. Let's talk a little bit about the King Air line. The first King Air, the Model 90, was introduced in 1964. It was stretched a few years later and became the 100. In 1974, the Super King Air 200 was introduced. That eventually became the King Air 250. The first thing you'll notice that's different than the 90 is the T-tail. The second thing you might notice on the ramp is that the fuselage is four feet longer. We'll talk about why that's important in just a minute. Let's talk about a particular feature on this King Air that is not necessarily on all King Air 200s, wing lockers. The wing lockers provide ample storage space for skis or golf clubs. A standard feature on the King Air 250 are these, the winglets. They're not found on every King Air 200. They have great ramp presence, they help with fuel burn and with climb performance. One feature common to all King Airs is the rugged design of the landing gear, allowing them to land on unimproved strips if you need to. The King Air 250 and the King Air 200 are no exception. Here it is, the engine for the King Air. 850 shaft horsepower made by Pratt Whitney, 3600 hour TBO. Now the difference between the 250's engine and some of the earlier model King Airs, it's been designed to maintain horsepower at a higher altitude. That's going to translate into higher true airspeed. There have been a lot of different propellers on King Air 200s throughout the years. Unique to the King Air 250, however, are these Hartzell Swept Blade Composite Props. They give you really good benefits inside the cabin. When it comes to icing, you don't want to be there, but if you have to be there, the King Air 250 uses pneumatic boots as a reliable source of de-ice on the airplane. Behind the radome is turbulence detecting radar. In addition, the King Air also has two sources of pitot-static. Let's talk some numbers. The King Air 250 has a certified ceiling of 35,000 feet. Maximum true airspeed, 310 knots. So far I've showed you a gorgeous airplane that's ruggedly built. Let's go inside and talk about those sweat props and the extended cabin. The cabin of the King Air 200 is a little different than the King Air 90. You remember we talked about the fact that the airplane had been stretched by four feet. What that gets you is a single club configuration and two aft facing seats. In addition, the lavatory is belted for a seventh seat and of course the airplane is certified single pilot. You can always put someone in the co-pilot seat and have eight passengers in the aircraft. Some King Air 200s use polarizers, some use shades. A unique feature to the King Air 250 are the redesigned electronically dimmable windows. With the touch of a button, I can make them dark. If you remember, we talked about the swept blade props on the King Air 250. That, in conjunction with bagged insulation, dynamic vibration absorbers, both located behind the sidewalls, significantly reduce the noise level inside the cabin. Need more storage? We talked about the wing lockers earlier, but take a look inside the cabin of the King Air 200 and the King Air 250. Lots of ample storage space that's accessible during flight. The flight deck of the King Air 200 250 has evolved over the years from basic electromechanical gauges to this, the Collins Proline Fusion. Having flown almost every model of King Air, and I fly a lot single pilot, the Collins Proline Fusion system gives me everything I need at the touch of a button. The Collins Proline Fusion system is incredibly robust. You have so many resources right here at your fingertips. And these adaptive screens allow you to access that information and change it quickly and easily. Sometimes it gets a little bumpy up there. And if it does, and the touch screen doesn't really do what I need it to do, I can use these cursors and controls to access all the information that I need for a safe flight. Oh, and don't forget, the Collins Perlon Fusion System is ADS-B, LPV, and WAS equipped. 
Thanks again for joining me on the tour of this beautiful King Air 250. If you have any questions about any airplanes on the King Air platform, don't hesitate to contact us. Go to our website or call us. At Jet Aviva, we like talking about airplanes almost as much as we love flying them.